Hi everyone, um, this is Boomer and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. Today we will we'll be doing the Borg STF The Cure Found. And uh, again, I will be playing on normal and I will be pugging the mission. So standard public queue, what uh, everyone has to do, no fleet involvement yet. Although if I do elite runs or something like that, which I do intend to do, I'm probably going to get my uh, fleet involved if I can do. Uh, fleet that I'm part of is STO Collective, they've been around for uh, quite a long period of time and uh, I'll hopefully get them involved in some of the missions that we are uh, we're going to be involved in. Now our goal in this mission is to destroy each of these sort of assimilated shipyards. What you've got is you have nanite probes which heal nanite probes which heal I think nanite probes which heal a Borg cube sitting above the shipyard. So obviously you have to take them out in order. And occasionally the shipyards will spit out a uh, assimilated Klingon ship like a Raptor or later in the mission they will um, send out uh, assimilated Nate Bar class ships as well which can really be an irritation. Um, Usually what you do at the start of the mission is you have a couple of guys head to the right um, like we kind of have going on here to take out this uh, this shipyard. Oh, it looks like the cube's still being healed. I obviously can't see the last remaining nanite probe. And you'll see the raptors just flying around there. This mission can get a little bit hectic at times. Okay, there goes the last of the nanite probes, so now we can start taking the cube on, and the cube will go down really quickly. Cubes actually aren't that strong in Star Trek Online. Um, I'm pretty sure I could easily take on two of them, which you know shows pretty much how far the Borg have fallen in most people's estimation. And down goes one of the shipyards. The optional for this mission, there is a, a damaged Klingon ship in the middle of the map and our job is to make sure it's not damaged further or destroyed by these Borg ships that the shipyards are uh, spitting out. So that went fairly well, so let's head... I'm going to head to the middle here, I don't think that there's much reason not to. I generally sweep right to left in this mission. It looks like a couple of guys have followed me. I think we have a pretty good group here. Uh, unlike the uh, Kitama Vortex run where it looked like a couple of guys really weren't too uh, familiar with how the with how the fight worked. I think this one's uh, I think this one's a lot more simple. Uh, you don't have to worry about things like 5 kilometer rules if indeed they exist. So, same again, just going to uh, try and smash through these nanite probes. My shields are failing at the moment, so I'm going to have to use uh, reverse shield polarity at some point. I'll just trigger everything, why not? I don't believe the nanite probes have shields anyway, so directed energy modulation doesn't really work tremendously well against them, but it is decent against uh, the other ships in the game. Oh. I've been tractor beamed, but again, I don't really care too much at this point. If it becomes an issue, I'll just use polarized hull and get out of it. But uh, until then, I'll just continue smacking everything with my anti-proton beams. And yeah, it looks like, as I said, the group's pretty together on this one. So we're really taking these, uh, we're really taking these uh, probes down incredibly fast and. I think the shipyard will be going pretty shortly as well. Yep, the cube's going to drop very quickly as well. It looks like I am managing to hold aggro at least on it, so... Uh, you know, it's not as if my damage is terrible on it. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it after that though, I think that was a Harpeng torpedo. But yeah, again, I've uh, just used an, um, reverse shield polarity there to make sure that I'm going to stay alive. The one downside of the shield that I'm using, which is the Riemann Covariant shield, I think it's the Mark 12 version, uh, the downside of it is the fact that it doesn't really regenerate. Uh, so I am looking to replace it with a Mako shield or something along those lines. Uh, just because the Mako shield, it does sacrifice a little bit in... Um, the actual amount of shields that you have, but it has a lot higher resistances. I think it has something like 30% resistance to plasma damage, and it also has uh, it also regenerates. So, yeah, all things good. 
And here we go, the shipyards have uh, sent out their Navar ships here, so we're just going to uh, attack them from all sides. And it looks like I'm just going to sweep past with my heavy plasma torpedoes, making a bit of a mess out of everything. And yeah, we've actually got the entire fleet concentrated on this Navar, yeah, that's not going to last very long. So now we've just got to take out the... Uh, now we've just got to take out these nanite probes and then we'll be on to the effective boss of the mission. As you can see, this one's gone incredibly smoothly. Uh, I tend to find that Kitima Vortex is the one that lasts longest, uh, except for Hive Onslaught, which is coming up next. Uh, but I'm not too sure that Hive Onslaught is one that should be in a rotation because, uh, as you can see, it's, as you will uh, see, it's very easy to make a pretty big meal out of it. So, just firing my lasers and taking everything down. Again, beam array fire at will proving that it's very good to increase your DPS, but it's not great on uh, whatever target that you're looking to destroy. Oh, I've been snagged. Ah, that lets me broadside this probe, I suppose. One thing about the Borg, and one thing that I think a few people complain about as far as the Borg STFs are, the Borg are kind of like, not dangerous, not dangerous, not dangerous, and then they'll just one-shot you. Uh, especially on Hive Onslaught. So, you know, maybe that's something that could be looked into, but uh, as you can see, we're just plastering this cube, and it's not really doing anything to us. And there we go. So that's all of the Borg launch bays destroyed. And we just have to take out this last uh, last little Natevar group that it uh, threw out at us. Again, not a threat, really. There we go. And you'll see that the IKS Kang has been defended, so we've got the optional as well. Excellent. And it means that we will be able to take on the final boss, and we will also get the... Uh, We've also got our four bonus Omega marks there, go us. Just using my fleet ability there, just to give everyone a bit of a buff. And it says, defeat the carrier. Yep, the Borg have assimilated a Klingon carrier. But, really, this isn't a big threat. This is probably the weakest of all the bosses that get sent against us. Um, it does occasionally throw out birds of prey, but to be honest, with the amount of firepower that we're concentrating in here, the um, birds of prey tend to get taken out just as collateral. It's because it's either torpedo explosions or beam ray fire at will or something along those lines. Um, everything just dies immensely. You can see we've got like two or three cruisers doing broadside on it. And really, uh, there's way too much firepower in here for it to survive. So. Overall, I would say pretty damn good run. Um, for a normal pug mission, that's a pretty damn good run there. And let's see what I got out of it. Not much again. Boy, do I ever suck. Oh, well, guys, that's the end of the cure found. And we will move on to Hive Onslaught next time. See you next time.